Hey guys, it's CJ with AirDog, and today we're going to talk about the different ways to, uh, to make your suction line on your AirDog, um, what's best for your application, and possibly help you select the best AirDog for your application. So first things first, we're going to talk about you know why you may need a different pickup for your application versus another application. Um, so with the AirDog 2 uh, style pump with that low flow return, on a lot of applications we don't have to overcome that return loss, so we can actually clip right to the top of the tank. Whereas with our original AirDog with the high flow return, some more applications we may have to do some modifications. So again, this may help you spec the best pump uh, for you with ease of installation depending on your truck. So if you were to go with our original AirDog, that FP model line, um, since again that does have that high flow return on some applications, um, it is going to require this draw straw. So if you're to go with a 100 gallon per hour unit, um, on some applications such as your uh, early second gens, um, all your Duramaxes and your Fords, you'll be able to clip right to the top of the tank. That is only with a 100 gallon per hour fuel system. Um, if you are to have a 150 gallon per hour fuel system, you will need this upgraded draw straw. So this is going to be a 5 8 inch draw straw. Um, since we are returning so much fuel, we have to overcome that loss by pulling so much more to the air dog itself. So we use this larger draw straw to reduce the cavitation on the pump, to prolong the life of the pump. Failure to install the draw straw on your FP150 or needed applications can cause premature wear and failure of the air dog. So if it is required and in your installation manual, make sure you are installing it because again, it can cause failure to the pump. So again, where this is going to be applicable is going to be your FP150s on all applications. Some FP100s, depending on your application, um, this also will come in all of your 220 kits, being that it is a high flow and can easily be adapted for that 5.8 suction line. So if you were to purchase an AirDog 2 kit, depending on the application, um, you may receive what's called a fuel module upgrade. So this is going to be on your um, second gen and newer Dodges. Um, some of the early second gens do not have an in-tank pump, uh, but this is going to be installed if you had an in-tank pump in your module. So what a fuel module upgrade is going to be is we're going to actually remove the fuel pump from the module and add a half inch draw straw internally in that module. It still allows for the springing of the module as well as the basket fill, uh, keeping the fuel around the draw straw so you don't have to worry about any quarter tank issues. A um, little bit more seamless integration into your truck as you're not putting a hole directly in the tank, you're putting it in the fuel module. So always able to re be replaced if you decide that you want to keep your air dog for your next truck or something like that. You can go ahead and swap that module and it's all back to stock. So again, where you may be seeing this fuel module upgrade is going to be on your Dodges. Um, again, this is going to be on the Air Dog 2 product line. Um, it depends if you have that in-tank pump or not. On some of the 100s, you will not need. Uh, but any of your 165s uh, are going to install this fuel module upgrade. So again, moving on with that AirDog 2 product line and how you may plumb your AirDog suction line. Um, this is going to be a Duramax fuel module. Um, so again, with that AirDog 2 being that it's a low flow return, we don't have to overcome that large uh, return loss by pulling more fuel. So on all your Duramaxes um, and majority of your Fords, excluding your 2017 and newer Fords, you're actually going to connect directly to the module with a 100 and 165. So since this doesn't have an in-tank pump, it already has a large enough internal suction hose in the module. We don't need to modify with that AirDog 2. You're clipping it right to the top of the tank, you're done. Again, this is going to be on majority of your Fords, excluding the 2017 and newer, um, as well as all of your Duramax kits. You're clipping it right to the top of the tank, no need for any of that modification. So depending on if you're going for like a high horsepower application or, or you want to save yourself a little bit of time by not installing a fuel module upgrade, uh, you can do a sump without dropping the tank. So some customers do prefer to go that route. Um, guarantees no quarter tank issues as you're pulling from the bottom. Um, but again, a lot of times this is more for the guys that are hunting horsepower. It's easy to adapt those 5A suction lines for those bigger pumps. Uh, but this is going to mount directly on the bottom of your tank using a single bolt design. We have a dual O-ring seal in this with a sandwich plate design. Um, also, it has an integrated return. Um, so on a lot of your applications where you had to return to your filler neck or back to the module after the fuel module upgrade, um, it's going to make it nice and easy for you because you're already going to have your suction and your return right here, right on the bottom of the pump. Uh, so 
maybe make your installation a little easier depending on what truck you're working on. So again, whenever you're purchasing an air dog unit, it's going to come with everything needed to install it on that truck. So you may be receiving a draw straw with your kit or fuel module upgrade. Again, it depends pump by pump uh, and application by application. So if you have any questions on selecting what may be the easiest pump to install on your application or what is the best pump for you, always feel free to reach out to us directly um, at our tech support. Also, one big thing to note, guys, um, is the number one killer of an air dog pump is going to be uh, inlet restriction or cavitation damage, meaning that the customer did not install their supplied draw straw or fuel module upgrade um, or went with a sump depending on the install. Um, always install you know, the proper um, suction from your tank with your air dog unit. Again, we can help you pick what you may be needing, uh, but just verify that you're installing these properly.